Mushmouth Joe. Well, hello, Mushmouth Joe here. I'm currently working on another Andy Wolk film review, but it's going to need a lot more work. So I thought I would do a quick update on Taurus Sledge in the East Ridge High School fiasco. The local media in Chattanooga is just terrible in every way. Just take a look. In this cell phone video released, you can see a Hamilton County Sheriff's deputy pull a student by his hair. Hey, Grandma, we're over here. Down the bleachers in the school's gym. And tonight, Liam Collins spoke to the student's attorney who raised concerns about the deputy's history of misconduct allegations. Liam, good evening. Tell us more. This is the now viral cell phone video of an East Ridge High School resource deputy attempting to take a student into custody. In the video, you can see the deputy pulling 18-year-old Taurus Sledge by his hair and then his backpack on a flight of bleachers in the school's gym. To me, this looks like something that had a high likelihood of death or serious bodily injury because of where they were. Robin Flores is representing Sledge in his criminal trial and is considering a civil rights lawsuit based on what he sees in the 12 second video. We need to know more than what's just in that little blurb. According to his arrest warrant, Sledge refused his teacher's demands to play a game of kickball in gym class. Police say the teacher called for Deputy Tyler McRae to respond when he says Sledge started yelling and puffing out his chest in an aggressive manner. McRae claims to explain to Sledge why he needed to calm down, so an arrest would not have to happen. That's when McRae says he felt threatened by Sledge and says he told the deputy he has five seconds to get his hand off. Then this video was taken, which the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office says doesn't tell the whole story. In a statement, Sheriff Austin Garrett says he plans to make body camera video of the incident available to the public. He also said in part, quote, the contents of the video will show the complete picture of the events that occurred that day surrounding this deputy's use of force at Each Ridge High School. Sledge was later pepper sprayed and charged with resisting arrest, assault, and disorderly conduct. It, what was going through the officer's mind at the time or he believed that amount of force was necessary. Deputy McRae was previously named in a federal civil lawsuit where he's accused of fondling and groping underage girls during a traffic stop. Also named in that lawsuit is Deputy Daniel Wilkie. That's the deputy who was previously named in a separate civil rights lawsuit for baptizing a woman against her will in Sandy Daisy during a traffic stop in 2019. So some drunk sluts claimed that McRae fondled them while searching them? Come on, man. That's what they all say. They're just drunk sluts. And some cop baptized a girl in a lake, but McRae wasn't even there. Yet we're bringing it up anyway. That's fair, I guess. If you're a homosexual reporter working for a shit news channel in a fucked up town, then there is the matter of all the angry replies I've been getting from my totally correct opinion. But not all of them have been angry. Dally Myers replied on another channel I commented on and followed me over here to see my version of the story. Thanks, Dally. I hope my demented dad jokes are landing for you. But the ones who are pissed off seem to think this was about forcing a kid to play dodgeball. That is indeed how it started. But this wasn't about dodgeball, kickball, or basketball. This kid refuses to listen to his teacher because he hates him on a personal level. He said it himself. I'm not gonna talk to a good old citizen. Folks, when I first heard about this story, I took the kid's side. But when the body camera footage was released, my opinion changed immediately. My guess is, sooner or later, Taurus is going to Google himself and come across this video. So Taurus, if you're listening to me, I want you to understand that I haven't taken this lightly. In fact, I was beaten by a whole pack of cops in Lawrenceville, Georgia in 1997 for doing nothing more than being in the wrong place at the wrong time. So I think I'm an easy one to convince, but I'd rather take my chances with the cops any day over dealing with violent criminals. And one more thing, Taurus. Why do you think your dad didn't come in ready to fight a war? Do you think he realized showing the cops a little respect was the best course of action? 
something to think about. As for the rest of you folks, have you considered finding me on an alternate website? Now that I have people out there binging on my videos, it's just a matter of time before someone realizes how much fun I'm having and has to shut us down. Thanks again, Mr. Albright. I hope to see you on Odyssey. So just as a reminder, this YouTube channel probably won't last forever. Come find me on these other websites before I disappear. I'm on Rumble and Odyssey as well. Some of the videos on Odyssey are slightly different from the versions that are on YouTube. If you need to chat, I'm also on Truth Social, Reddit, Instagram, and Gilded. There is a link to my Gilded server on my channel's description page. So until next time. True internet, I suffered the pressure.